breaking new details in the case of that teenager who stowed away in the wheel well of a jumbo jet and survived how he broke through security to get in there in the first place. ABC's David Curley joins us from Reagan National Airport with the latest. Good morning, David. Morning, Georgia. You're like me, 24 hours later, still scratching your head. How did this 15 year old survive this high altitude, low oxygen, long flight? And what was he thinking? This morning, new details about the bizarre stowaway at 38,000 feet. Residents in the Santa Clara neighborhood telling ABC News overnight they believe the teen lives in this house with three siblings and his parents. They're really quiet neighbors, so yeah, so we really, you know, don't hear noises or anything. Neighbors say his father is a cab driver and they only see the family in passing. I just see the taxi cab come in and out occasionally. Here's what we do know. Saturday, the 15 year old fought with his family and at some point left the house and made his way to this fence around the San Jose airport. He scaled it to get onto airport grounds, evading security, including dogs, Segway riding police officers. But video cameras captured him climbing into the plane. It does appear that he did scale a section of our perimeter fencing under cover of darkness and remained undetected as he then proceeded onto the aircraft ramp and proceeded into the wheel well of the aircraft. The wheel well of a Hawaiian Airlines 767. Daylight broke, he was undiscovered for the just before 8 a.m. takeoff. Officials say he chose the first plane he saw and may not have realized he was going to be in the air for five and a half hours. And not the air we breathe, but at 38,000 feet, where the percentage of oxygen is a fraction of that at sea level and temperatures of at least 50 degrees below zero. The jetliner landed at 1025 Hawaiian time. Then, an hour later, crews were startled. Someone was coming out of the wheel well. He was weak. He hung from the wheel well, and then he fell to the ground and regained some strength. Still, many questions remain, including why no one spotted the teen on those security cameras at the San Jose airport. A lot of questions about airport security after this incident across the country. One report this morning that the boy may have been trying to get on a plane to Africa to visit relatives. We don't have any confirmation of that. What we do know is that he is expected to be on another plane inside a plane headed back to California at some point, Robin. Okay, David, thank you.